Hi there and welcome to Excel Tech. Today I am here with a program to convert a string to binary format. Actually, there is no way to directly convert a string to binary format. For this, we have to get that string and take each and every character of that string one by one and assign that character to an integer value so that we get the ASCII value of that string in decimal format and keeping that ASCII value, converting it into binary format and printing that on the screen one by one for each and every character will convert the string to binary format. Actually this is an indirect way to convert a string to binary format as there is no direct way to convert it on C++. So I have created such a program with this algorithm and let me explain you this program step by step. So first of all I have declared the string here and I am getting it using the getLine function because using C in function your string cannot contain white spaces as just entering enter button or pressing spacebar will terminate that statement. So I am using getLine function where I can have white spaces in my string. And for selecting each and every character in the string, I am using for loop. So up to the size of the string using string size function. So I am taking that character and assigning it to an integer where I have declared k as an integer here. So keeping this integer, for example, if I uh, have the first character as lowercase a, the value of k here will be 97 which is the ASCII value of lowercase a. So after getting this decimal number, we have to convert it into binary using this algorithm. So first of all, uh, let me take a number 6. Actually we know that uh, to convert a number to binary format, we have to divide that number continuously by 2 note the reminders and write it up in reverse order which will give the binary of that number. So first of all here we have to take that number, let the number be k and I am noting down the reminder here where I am dividing it by 2 and noting down the reminder using the modulus operator and in the next step in order to note this down in reverse order so that the first reminder should be in the first digit of the binary format, in the second in the second, third, fourth and so on. So for this we can multiply that reminder with 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2 continuously to place them on the first digit, second digit and third digit. Actually we have to multiply it with 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 2 continuously and add them up. So I will explain you with an example here and after this after getting the reminder in order to go to the next step we have to note the quotient and I am assigning it to the same number. Actually I am using this flag variable to make that 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2 continuously possible. So first of all I am initializing flag equal to 0. So here after incrementing it in the next step that is while noting the second reminder it will become 10 power 1 and in the next step it will be 10 power 2, 10 power 3. So we will be following the same step up to when k is not equal to 0. So I am using while loop here. So first of all let me take a number say 6. So let k equal to 6. In the first step I am noting the reminder. So 6 modulus 2. The first reminder will be 0 and I am noting down and multiplying it with 10 power. So the first will be 0. So 0 into 10 power 0 the first digit of the binary will be 0 and after this I am dividing it to get the next quotient so 6 by 2 will be 3, so k will be assigned 3 and I am incrementing flag. So in the next step, the reminder will be or equal to 3 percentage 2, that is 3 modulus 2. So after this we will get 1 as reminder and here already 0 is there and we are multiplying that reminder with 10 power 1. That is in the next step the flag variable gets incremented. So that when you are multiplying it with 10 power 1 and adding it up with the previous value, we will get this reminder in the second digit of the binary format. That is already 0 was there and in the second digit 1 will get added up. And I am again getting the question for the next step. So 3 by 2 it will be 1 in integer format and incrementing flag and moving to the next step it will be 1 modulus 2. So it will be certainly 1. And after the, in this step, I am multiplying 1 with 10 power 2, that is for the third digit. So it will be um, 1, 1 and 0. So this is the binary format of 6 as we know. 
and after this 1 by 2 will be set and is 0 in integer format and after this the loop will be terminated and the value i which is the binary format of 6110 will be printed on the screen. So with this algorithm we can convert any decimal into binary format. So here I am getting a string taking the individual characters of the string and assigning it to an integer value and converting it to binary printing it on the screen one by one. So this is a simple program to convert a string to binary format. So let us run this program. So let me enter our channel's name as the input string. Yeah, we have got it. So this is the binary format of this string XLT. Actually, I am having a white space here. When you use the normal C in operation, you can't uh, use this white space over here as just pressing space will terminate that C in statement. So I am using get line function to use this white space. So here is the corresponding uh, decimal for, I mean binary value for E and X, U, L, T and up to XL tech. The entire string will be converted to binary format. Actually converting a string to binary format has a good practical application of message encryption. So when you have to send some secret messages to someone confidentially via social media such that only few persons can understand it, you can encrypt it by converting it into binary format and sending it on social media so that when some others see they will be seeing all 10110 their head will spin like anything and they will just go off. So the message which you send by encrypting it into binary format will be entirely safe when you have to send some private messages via social media. So this is a good practical application of this program. So similarly with this same algorithm you can write program in C as well as Java. So thanks for watching. Subscribe Excel Tech. See you in the next video soon. Bye.